REDS software library for modeling and simulation of solar desalination systems. www.redslibrary.com Hi everybody, uh, Professor Mohammed Sharaf with you. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, how to run your um, MSF desalination processes, multi-stage flash, by the using of uh, Ritz library software. Uh, but briefly, we uh, we are going to talk about the concept of MSF configurations and the model run. Um, the concept is um, is clear and simple. Multi-stage flash is widely used. Uh, in especially in Middle East, it's um, it's a massive technique for producing a larger amount of, of fresh water um, extracted from uh, saline water, especially seawater. Um, Maltz's flash distillation plant produce about 60% of all the saline water in the world. The plant has a serious species called stages uh, uh, it's a water box with the tray with flashing chamber evaporator the and uh, the sequence of of such stages from a uh, uh, cold cold uh, uh, st uh, beginning to the to the hot ending uh, 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 allows uh, the industrial of uh, uh, of water production industry to produce a large amount with simple technique uh, comparing against MED or membrane distillation or uh, mechanical vapor compression. Uh, the stages have different pressures corresponding to the boiling points of water as a stage temperatures itself after the hot end there is a container called brine heater and such a brine heater uh, uh, is the main heart of of, of heat source uh, to produce uh, uh, suitable heat uh, to rise up the feed water to appropriate uh, and design temperature normally around 110 120 as a maximum and so on we have different configurations we have mm, mm, uh, scientifically we have and industry we have brine recycle configuration one to through configuration and brine mixing but actually uh, uh, brine recycle uh, uh, currently is widely used uh, in such industry for brine recycle we have here as you can see a uh, heat rejection section we have heat recovery section and we have also a heating section uh, uh, represented by a brine heater unit so the advantages of brine circulation uh, configuration uh, uh, is that the seawater is preheated in order uh, of only one third of the one through design. That's quite interesting. The majority of the tube bundles work with the irritated brine water with lower corrosion uh, uh, rates and the incondensable gases released are reduced uh, thus achieving higher efficiency uh, uh, of the stages part of the uh, brine so you are going to use already preheated uh, uh, stream such a pre uh, uh, brine recycle is used uh, to uh, uh, preheat uh, uh, the feed water uh, then increasing the efficiency, uh, lowering the temperature gap between states. So, for once through, it, this is the original case. Uh, I'm considering it original case. And once through, there is no specific heat rejection section. So, and the feed directly enters 
the heat recovery section, uh, passing through the condenser, and finally, it will be heated by a brain heater, and then pass through the flat chamber at the bottom uh, uh, of it. So we are going to lose our brine, already heated brine, uh, so w without uh, uh, utilizing it or enhancing uh, the performance. That's simply the difference. So that's going to already this model. How we can how we can deal with such case? Uh, let's open our uh, our model. Download your model and going here for. Let's see. Let's beginning go with a uh, brain cycle. Firstly, when you run your model, it will appear like this. But be sure, be sure that you have to uh, for your model browser show your model browser. We have to click on this button, show your model browser, in order to. Uh, uh, make it easy for to deal with for brain uh, so we have, firstly if you double click on it you will see some uh, uh, it's a, a brief description about it about the process itself how uh, it run and so on okay let's go inside uh, multi-stage flash we have two units brain heater units this is our brain heater, and this is as a stages itself. Uh, heat heat rejection and heat recovery uh, uh, units here. So we are going to uh, actually the model is run um, with entire entire loop of attrition uh, that user can can't realize because we have forward streams backward streams and so on so we are doing we are dealing with a little bit complicated process and we have to uh, take care of of such configuration for brain heater double clicking on on it this is a brief description we're going to assign some uh, inputs like ambient temperature for example and brain heater efficiency because this is a, a, a design model for design model uh, we have to assign efficiency effectiveness uh, outlet uh, or surrounding streams in order to uh, uh, to discover what is the design aspects like areas mass flow rates physical properties in service energy streams inside the process itself and so for let's see let's run our model let's design it for a design this is a flow velocity for typical this is typical value uh, um, brain heater uh, uh, input inner tube diameter outer tube diameter so I will keep it as it okay this is a brain heater mm. let's go to uh, multi stage flash itself. Operating com uh, conditions we have sea water temperature 27, it's okay, 27, top brine temperature. Okay, top brine temperature, let it be uh, 110. Last stage temperature, uh, as I said before, uh, we are dealing with outlet streams of the process. This, uh, this is an outlet stream, top outlet stream, and this is a uh, uh, bottoming out, outlet stream. Uh, last stage, uh, brine temperature. So we are as going to assign it it's at, uh, we can keep it at 40. 40, it's around 40, uh, 35. We can make it. Uh, let it be 38 uh, salinity for feed water salinity this is input stream outlet and brine blow down uh, salinity stream it's outlet too so 
uh, we expected to make it this is around uh, 70 68 something like this um, uh, 45 is suitable for for Gulf area let it be 42 uh, thousand ppm uh, suitable for Mediterranean uh, see for design yes for design aspect we are going to assign the productivity of the plant let it be 5000 meter cube per day this is the feed water splitter ratio uh, this is a splitter ratio uh, that we can split the brine uh, uh, part of the brine will be uh, recycled again so we have to assign the split ratio uh, total number of stages sure we uh, um, we have for uh, heat rejection section we have only three stages so for heat rejection we are going to keep it Oh, sure in in this model you can assign what what it uh, will be I, I mean we can assign for five stages two stages and you can go and you can uh, study it okay keep it three and four total number of stages uh, I'm going to make it uh, 20 stages 20 stages and here we are going to make it 17 stages this is the total number of stages is 20 for heat recovery section is 17 and heat rejection uh, uh, is three stages and the rest is, is diameters flow velocity uh, and so on i will keep it this is bump we have feed bump efficiency we can we can assign it brine bump efficiency this is bump efficiency and brine recycle bump efficiency and now uh, let us see if we are going to run our model uh, as you can see here it's uh, uh, you can see a little bit slower okay we are going to discover our uh, uh, our results for first uh, this is a brine heater section for brine heater section uh, we have this is recycled streams uh, kilogram per second we have uh, the cycle temperature it's around 99 we have two brine temperature we already assigned it this is assigned known and sure we have here uh input input steam temperature it will be uh, around 112 and this is uh, uh, the total uh, uh, as you can see here uh, total steam flow rate it will be around 12 kilogram per second and this is thermal energy for the prime heater and we have here irreversibility rates, number of tubes, tubes length, and uh, the brain heater area. And don't forget you collect your entropy, uh, uh, entropy uh, of inlet stream, entropy of outlet stream, uh, and salby of uh, heating uh, steam, and so in input and salby of uh, outlet uh, condensed steam uh, and so on let's go for uh, multi brain cycle it's a it's a huge configuration it's entirely huge configuration as we can see here uh, we are going to discover the following this is the gear ratio uh, and let feed sea water uh, mass flow rate feed water to the mixer unit feed loss uh, after the mixer we have brine blow down recycle feed water salinity profile salinity of the second uh, uh, feed of the mixer total brine blow down and so on 
uh, and you can discover your uh, brain profile as you can see this is a brain profile stage by stage it's uh, this is a gradual decrease of brain from this is the first stage before entering the brain heater after the after the brain heater for the brain and and this is the last stage for this profile we have here this is this profile total distillate profile accumulation this is accumulated the uh, distillate uh, and this is salinity profile for blow down and so on uh, this is temperature profile for uh, uh, heat rejection section this is the last temperature as we assigned uh, so uh, this is the last brine temperature as we assigned it's 38 this is the last temperature last stage temperature and we can see here you can find out your area uh, area profile get get height lens and so on uh, this is a, a, a bombing unit prime blue down bomb unit how much kilowatt you are going to consume district bombing uh, feed bomb recycling bomb and so on and this is a, a, a this is thermocolomics if you are going to uh, calculate your thermocolomics based on exergy stream exergy of the brine out exergy of feed uh, inlet, exergy of feed outlet, exergy of the distillate, uh, uh, reversibility of uh, of the whole unit, uh, and so on. How we can easily collect your data? You can go to to MATLAB, and as you can see here, your data are stored outside MATLAB so you can you can easily for example put your this is your distribute profile you can easily uh, go this is the git height this is the git height this part of the three heat rejection and this is a brine profile brine profile surely is decreasing this is accumulation of uh, this profile stage by stage uh, and this is salinity profile so it become easy to deal with such units and you can easily assign or reforming uh, your data uh, using some streams if you would like uh, and so on uh, for once it's through, uh, it'll, it's a little bit different, as you can see here. Uh, you have to assign, sure, the productivity, CO2 temperature, to brain temperature, last stage temperature, and so let it be 38. Uh, it's a little bit easier, not complicated. As you can see here, we can run our model. Uh, the same is uh, you'll find your bombing power, uh, total feed mass flow rate, brine loss, uh, salinity profile, the brine profile, temperature profile, uh, and so on. Uh, and surely you can uh, use the same data uh, by the use of uh, MATLAB. Uh, you can use MATLAB capabilities to deal with such technique of, uh, of modeling it will become easier uh, for you and I would like to uh, uh, thank you all about um, your interest in our model please follow us at threatslibrary.com and see you for uh, more uh, modeling techniques 
related to uh, renewable energy destination systems and thank you very much